oil and gas from the reservoir is the most important part. The oil and gas is stored in the reservoir. This we have to take it outside to the surface area. That is called recovery procedure. Initially, the oil will come outside with a natural force, natural pressure, that is called natural recovery, primary recovery. Next one is after primary recovery, we may have to give additional energy for artificial lift to bring the oil to surface area. Artificial lift means giving additional energy in the form of beam pump, in the form of gas lifts, progressive cavity pumps, or we have ESPM, electrical submersible pump. Having using all these facilities, still oil may not be able to come. Oil may be heavy. If the oil is about 30 API, that oil is considered as light fluid. If the oil is between 20 and 30, we consider this oil is medium oil. If it is 10 and 20, we consider this oil as heavy oil. Now most of the oil producing countries in the world, they are facing a problem that their oil is heavy. It is difficult to take outside. If it is light, if it is medium, we can push it outside. But if it is heavy oil, viscosity is very high, that oil cannot come to the surface in the normal procedure. The crude oil is like this. You can see the crude oil. This oil is considered as, you can see when you turn that one, it is not moving. That means heavy oil. When you move this one there, it is easily coming outside in the top area, that is light oil. This is API 30 and above. This is API 10 or 50, very heavy oil. If the reservoir is having this heavy oil, we cannot take it naturally or we cannot take it with artificial detours. In that situation, we need to use EOR system. What is EOR? It is called enhanced oil enhanced oil. Most of the oil producing countries, Venezuela, Canada, some Nigeria, some area in different Gulf area, in Oman, all this area, they are facing a problem, a challenge that then 80% or 75% of their oil reserve is heavy oil. The API is between 10 and 20. In this case, they have to use another technology advanced to the quality, that that technology is called EOR. I'm just talking about this EOR. Primary recovery is water drive, natural flow, natural drive, gas drive, gravity drive, combination drive, and also gas lift, VCP, progressive cavity pump, ESP, electrical submersible pump, and beam pump. After using this one, we can use secondary means you have to inject oil, uh, we have to inject steam or water or gas to the reservoir and produce oil. Water and gas injection we consider as secondary. If that also failing and is not producing enough as required, then you look for a tertiary method. Tertiary method to recover heavy oil like this, very heavy. And the API is only 12 or 15. API means American Petroleum Institute Gravity. If you want to know the API, what you must do, you take a sample of the oil, check the specific gravity. If, the, if you know the specific gravity, then we have a formula, 141.5 divided by specific gravity minus 131.5. That will give you the API. So API means if the specific gravity or density is low, the API will be high. If the specific gravity is high, then the API will be low. We need API high. That only oil only can export to, our, to the other countries. So now here, 
Tertiary means recovering heavy oil. How you recover heavy oil? We have three methods. One method is called thermal. Thermal means we are injecting heat or we are injecting or we are heating that is the oil by cyclic steam injection. Second method is continuous steam injection. Third method is in situ combustion. In situ combustion means make fire inside the reservoir, combust inside the reservoir, heat the reservoir and recover all. Now you can see cyclic steam injection, that means you inject two beads steam, high pressure, high temperature steam through the Q wall. After two weeks, close the steam injection. Then wait two weeks, then you produce the same well produce oil. So this is cycle. Second one, continuous steam injection means you inject steam through the well continuously. The other well produce oil outside, oil and gas outside. The last one is called in situ combustion. You make combustion on the site. That's called in situ combustion. So in situ combustion will heat the reservoir area, the rock, and the oil become easy to mobile, or easy to move, so that it can produce from other wells. When if you use in situ combustion, sometimes some areas that well which was producing very artificially will become natural flow. Why when you make combustion there, the carbon or the smoke or the vapor which is produced by combustion is stored in the reservoir, later that pressure will help to push the oil outside. It is very common in many countries including India and Gujarat. Gujarat we are using, ONGC is using that method. In Canada, in Venezuela, they are using sensitive method. In Gulf area, it is not yet come. They are considering to use sensitive combustion in many parts of the Gulf area, including Oman. So, what is sensitive combustion means? What is sensitive combustion means? You can see the three. How in ONGC we are using incentive numbers. Welcome. You will now be viewing the in-situ combustion technique in which ONGC has gained a high degree of expertise. ONGC's operations spanning across the globe imbibe various technologies for maximizing oil recovery. ONGC has also risen to the challenge of heavy oil recovery by successfully implementing the in-situ combustion technique in the heavy oil belts of the Balol and Santal. In situ combustion means heating of oil in the oil bearing sand itself. The ignition trailer initiates this process, which is very specialized and critical in nature. It receives high pressure air from the air compressor plant, which is regulated and injected into the annulus of the injector well. The ignition trailer also receives low pressure natural gas from the gas grid which is compressed, regulated and injected into the injector well through the tubing. Using a special technique, a flame is ignited in the well and the various parameters like bottom hole temperature, air and gas flow rates and injection pressures are continuously monitored till the process of in-situ combustion in the oil formation becomes self-sustaining. The ignition trailer then moves on to the next well. 
in situ combustion leads to decrease in viscosity of oil thereby making it more mobile and displacing it towards the surrounding producer wells as a result of this process many wells which were earlier flowing on artificial lift have now started flowing by themselves it has also resulted in many fold increase in oil recovery thereby giving a new lease of life to the existing oil fields ONGC's ignition team has also modified the ignition technique to overcome the challenges posed by high pressure in the wells having depth of more than 1000 meters. It has also carried out on surface experiments by simulating downhole well conditions to further develop the process. The implementation of this technique in the Balol and Santhal oil fields of Masana acid has not only increased the oil recovery by two to three fold but has also given a new lease of life to these oil fields. Today, Mahsana Acid is the highest oil producing onshore oil field of ONGC. The heavy oil reserves across the world, which are twice the conventional oil reserves, have a huge potential for enhancing oil recovery by the implementation of the in-situ combustion technique. ONGC with its vast experience and expertise in the in-situ combustion technique along with a dedicated and competent ignition team is capable of implementing this technique anywhere across the world.